Alright, so this is the world's worst angle. <laughs> but we are on our way to the Goodwill Outlet in St. Pete, Florida. That's my closest bins location. I haven't been to the bins in a good minute. A couple, maybe a month or two? Maybe a month? I don't know. Um, but the boys start, or my sons start, um, summer. Tomorrow's the last day of school. So they start summer.
and yeah so we've been here for a few years now and I don't think we're moving but who knows um, I don't think we're moving as far as out of state and I'm trying to get back into reselling and I've been starting reselling a little bit more since um, the beginning of this year that was kind of like my New Year's resolution I really like reselling as like I guess a hobby you could say um, it's something that I really enjoy doing I like finding things and flipping them for a profit I'm very um, kind of like a workaholic I like making money and because I am like the sole person that um, picks up the kids and you know gets them to their sports things on time and all of that stuff and you know field trips things like that because my husband's job um, is a little bit you know more recommended where he can't actually you know attend everything um, or he gets out you know a little bit later um, I'm the sole person that has to do that so I have to have like the flexible jobs because I don't really want to pay to have my kids in daycare uh, <laughs> for being honest um, and I enjoy it I enjoy like being able to do gig work and things like that when it's making money I hate it when it's slow but um, I like being able to be the flexible one and yeah so if you're new here I don't know if I said but my name is Brittany hence Brittany's Brands um, I do DoorDash, Uber Eats, Instacart I probably should have started with that but um, I also do virtual assisting I have like one personal client and then I have a website that posts random um, tasks for people to claim and do if they are knowledgeable in that field like spreadsheets and making reservations and things like that so I kind of do all different things and then I also am a reseller so that's that's me in a nutshell um, but yeah, so I think I was talking about how I'm getting back into reselling starting the beginning of the year. It's been going pretty good. I obviously notice when I don't list that much, I don't make that many sales, but when I consistently list, the sales start coming in. Um, more recently, I've been kind of addicted to Whatnot, which is a auction website like people do um, online video auctions and you can buy from there. Um, I try to keep my cost, like if I'm buying to resell, I try to keep it under like $2 if possible, if I can find those auctions. Um, I've had some not so great auctions as of recent, well not, not plural, I've had one not so great auction, I don't even remember the person I bought from, but I found the auction, and what appeared to be great, when I ended up getting the items, they um, were, every single item had like a flaw in them, and you know, not too terrible but still like some things had were a little bit dirty and a stain here or there and stuff like that so definitely be cautious but whatnot has like a buyer guarantee or whatever so if things aren't as subscribed you're supposed to get a refund um so i'm in the middle of trying to figure out that because there was quite a few items in the like little bundle of like seven items that i bought that were flawed um which kind of sucks but Besides that, I've had some pretty good buys and I've started reselling things from there too. Um, I signed up to do auctions, but we will see when I actually get, I don't know, I was thinking about like buying stuff from the bins and then, you know, reselling them. I've seen the people that literally like live sell from the bins which I think is really cool I don't have the courage to do that in front of like other people at the bins um, I don't really want the attention to be on me as far as like um, you know what what is she doing you know um, but that's just me I'm not I'm not very uh, brave when it comes to those kinds of things so I was thinking of, you know, buying things from the bins and, you know, reselling them in auction and then whatever doesn't sell in auction for like a profit, then, or on whatnot, um, then just listing those things. But 
but I don't know. I have to figure that out because also when my kids are out for summer, they will probably be like, Mom, what are you doing? Mom, Mom, Mom. Um, but yeah, <laughs> that's kids for you. Um, yeah, so I don't know really what else to chat about before going on my way. I'll probably listen to a few podcasts and yeah, I'll let you guys know what I get afterwards. Um, I'm not looking down at the phone, like besides that one time when I just looked at you guys because I am driving in good old Tampa traffic. Um, it's actually not too bad. They open at 10, it's 9.43 right now. I don't know how long it's gonna take me to be there because my GPS is on my phone and my phone is recording. So, um, I think if the GPS said I'll be there somewhere around 10, which is good for me because I don't think I've been there when they open right away in a while. I usually show up around like 11. Um, but I just said, you know what, let's, let's take a little joy ride down to the good old bins. Um, but yeah, I'll let you guys know what I have. Stop rambling here and I'll see you then. Bye. Can you spot my best find of today? All right, so first we're gonna start off this haul with a not so high retail brand. It's time and true, um, but I picked it off based off of picked it up based off of style. It's like a lightweight lyocell, um, just pants. They are extra large, which is also why I picked them up. But yeah, so those are the first that that's the first item. Second item. This is a Forever 21, also a brand I wouldn't recommend always picking up, but it is like a denim, like green um, jacket. Colors vary on point with trend. It's a size large, it's cropped. Um, and yeah, I, so I picked it up just because of that. This is a new day, new with tags, um, like square neck, maybe semi-cropped, I haven't measured it yet. But it's no tag size small. This one is Lululemon, which I was surprised to see. It does have like a little stain, but I'm gonna try and stain treat that. It doesn't look too set in. Um, but it is a medium large cropped top. I kind of figured it was Lululemon just by when I saw kind of like the pull string sitting in the bin. Um, and it was the picked over bin, so I was super happy to find that. These are a size 10 Old Navy high-rise shorts, cuffed in great condition, perfect for spring and summer. Next up we have this loft size medium dress, it's got like the three-quarter sleeves on it. Um, the back is kind of super cute where it's got like the little opening and the strap right there. Next up is this embroidered O'Neill top. It does need to be steamed, um, but it's a size small. It's got these like cold shoulder opening things right there, but very on trend embroidered. And yeah, it's kind of got like the split hem right there. This one is so funny. Um, it's A-Lab size small. I didn't look up comps on it, but it's this little alien crop top and I just couldn't leave it behind. I was like, someone's gonna buy this just due to the pure fact that it's got aliens all over it. Um, but yeah, I thought it was super cute. It's even got like a little pocket right here. All right, this next one is from Harry Potter. It's the Martyr's Map. I don't know if I'm saying that right. It's been a while since I've watched Harry Potter. Um, it's a size large in excellent condition. Any Harry Potter fan, I feel like, would love this. Next up is this Free People New with Tags little onesie bodysuit number. It has these beautiful floral, tropical kind of floral arrangements on it. Arrangements print on it. It's a size medium and it's new with tags. Originally retailed for $58. Next one is a brand I don't recognize. It's probably like a little boutique brand. It's 2XL. But it feels like a rayon material. It actually says polyester and spandex, but I thought it would make like a cute beach throwover. Not sure. I don't know. I think when I picked this one up, I was just kind of like picking for straws, kind of. Um, but it is 
pretty with the print and everything like that. So it's got the v-neck and the little tassels. Surprisingly, I actually do halfway decent with overalls. Um, these ones are blank NYC and they have like the distressing right there. Um, that's a button that goes in there, but zips on the side. Uh, shorts, just little shorty overalls. And for some reason, I don't know why, like overalls still sell good for me. I don't personally wear overalls, but other people do. It is a size, I think this is 26, yeah. 26 blank NYC. This next one will probably sell better towards fall, but it is floral. Um, it's a long sleeve little like peplum smocked top. The brand is Paper Crane. Um, the size, oh, it's a medium. If it'll focus, there you go. So we're gonna throw in a funny one I found at the bins. Can you guess what it is? I can't believe I put this on. <laughs> We have a Teletubbies onesie. Um, it has pockets, which is nifty. It's a size extra large, and he even has like this little zipper. So you can go to the bathroom with easy access. And the little hood on the back, which you saw in the video. I can't read them too short, but yeah. So we found that little number. So back to the less fun, traditional style clothing. These remind me of little candy corns, but I don't think they were intended to be that way. It's just this embroidered Westport top, probably more of a fall selling item, but it had these cute little cutouts on the side. It is a size large. But yeah, I thought that was too cute to leave behind. Next up we have this Fabletics extra large or sorry extra small sports bra um just this funky print with a little crisscross back detailing on these men's large size 9 to 13 stance socks new in package they were originally 20 dollars this one is geared for my mature working lady style um, more of the older crowd. Um, this is a Carmen Marco Valvo large. Cute little blouse. I like the little V, um, like see-through sheer hemline that it's got going on. I thought that was very different. Next one is more of a Tiffany bluish color. It's new with tags, Nike Golf, size extra large women's like sleeveless tank top. This one I'm kind of taking a chance on. It's this techno blade, um, like ugly Christmas sweater techno blade. I only know this cause my kids, but it's like some sort of YouTuber gamer person that I believe passed away. Um, but his stuff still sells. I couldn't find an exact comp for this sweater, but it doesn't look like they're selling it anymore. This thing is in excellent condition, maybe like a collector's item for like a kid that's a fan. I don't know, but I picked it up. Is Tommy Jean still cool? I sure hope so. I think this is actually, now that I'm looking at it, it's that a size small, but I think it might be like a sweater dress. Um, it's definitely oversized if it is, but this definitely doesn't seem like a small, um, a very long <laughs> small. So I think this is actually a, a sweater dress, which, it's kind of actually cool, I think. I think it adds like a different factor to it. Um, but yeah, I picked this one up just because it had the big spell out letting, let, letterings <laughs> um, and was in excellent condition. And it's got a hood and everything. This one is like another style based pickup. It has like the sun and moon and yin yang. And it's like a, almost like a cardigan pullover layering piece. It's just from the brand Hot Topic. It's a small, and I just picked it up due to the print on it. Um, yeah. Next one is nothing interesting. It's just a Victoria's Secret 36 double D bra. Next up we have this beautiful investments top. I don't normally pick up investments. I believe it's like a Dillard's brand, but just look at this floral print with the bell sleeves. Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. This one I'm going to show you all together because they're all the same thing. They're all pajama pants, 2XL, in excellent condition. Like, look at this. 
This one is a um, stitch, space stitch. Sorry for the background noise. My dog is drinking water. Um, this one is a snowboarding stitch. And then you're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. In excellent condition. I'll show you these just for LOLs, but this one's going to my son. It's just a pair of Gap Fit shorts that I picked up. Next one is not quite in style, or season, not style, but season, um, but it's the brand Arctics, and it's like a 4T little snowsuit thingamajig. <laughs> I picked it up. It'll sell when it gets, I mean, some places still have snow, right? Like in the mountains, people go ski. I don't know, snowboarding. I live in Florida, so we don't have a need for these, and I don't really know how it got down here. Maybe someone moved, but yeah. Next up, we have these Hagar men's pants, new with tags, retailed for 34 But I've actually seen these pants in particular because my husband likes a style similar to this, but the same brand go for like over $40 um, in Target. And they actually like cover up the little pricing and put a different price on it, but that's neither here nor there. These are a size 38 wide by 30 length. Or waist, why did I say wide? 30 waist by 30 length and slim fit, I believe. Yeah. These are a new with tags Lane Bryant, size 22. It has the super stretchy waist. Just a pair of distressed knee jeans. This beautiful floral blouse is express, it's extra small. It's got the rolled tab sleeves or a long sleeve if you want it. High rise flare universal thread jeans are new with tags, size two. Next one is Volcom. It's an extra large Florida graphic t shirt. I'm about to fall. Um, I don't normally pick up this brand, but I don't know, it just said Florida. So I figured, hey, I'll pick it up. We'll see. It's a, it's a test. Um, but yeah, I have another. Um, so I'm trying to adjust the brightness so you can kind of see it's like that split pea green soup color. Um, not going to put that in the thing, but it is an extra, extra small green um, Fabletics bra with, and it's new with tags, I don't know if I said that, with a little crisscross back. You'll see those little orange fuzzies from the onesie everywhere. This one is a petite extra large. It's a cold water creek. Um, I don't really pick up this brand, but we're trying new things. Um, I like the little embroidered and eyelet design on it. Um, looks like it was just freshly dry cleaned for me, so thank you. <laughs> um, but I thought it was like very neutral boho kind of look. So we could even wear it like as an open top over like a basic tank top or tee underneath. But yeah, this one is a tie-dye Old Navy has pockets, little dress, um, it's an extra large. Next one is like a little cropped pullover sweater with the like denim patchwork sleeves. It's by the brand Gimmicks, which I believe is a buckle brand. It's a size small. It's new with tags, tank top, says Sunkissed. Um, and it's by the brand Junk Food. It's a size medium, new with tags. MSRP is 45. This one is a 1X. It's like one of those off the shoulder moments with, again, the wide sleeves. Don't remember what this brand is, but it's 1X and super cute. So I don't think I'll have a problem selling it. I told you earlier, I don't normally pick up this brand, but I think the same person with the other floral investments top size large donated this as well. And it's just so pretty. Next one is LuLaRoe. I need to stop picking up this brand, y'all, but it's green. And minus the brand, it's a size large. But I just thought the green um, shawl itself and its own without the brand name was cute. These next two items I'm going to show you are also a test item. I don't ever pick up this brand, Woman Within, but it's a 2X, I believe. Yes, it's a 2X. It's rayon. It's just like this maxi pullover little dress, perfect for the summertime. Um, so we're gonna try and see how this one does, and I'll let you guys know. And this one is Woman Within, but it's a 3X Petite. Same thing, Rayon Maxi. This one is All In Motion. Um, 
but it's like this fleece sweater. I'm gonna see if my mom wants it first. It's a size medium, uh, but she lives in Minnesota and it gets cold. And she lost some weight recently and has been looking in my closet on Poshmark for things. So I bought this with her in mind. I think she'll like it. This next one is an Old Navy dress. It's a size extra large, perfect for the summertime um, with its cute plaid print. I'm trying to see if it has any pockets, but I don't think so. But yeah, I picked that one up. Next item is just this cute little leopard print cat kids jacket. I know it's not the right season for it, but it was too cute to leave behind. With that in mind, I also picked up this one as well with the little stars on it. Um, I think these will really do well when it starts warming, I mean, cooling down again. This is a Build-A-Bear Lisa Frank giraffe that I found along with that Clydesdale that's on the bottom. Um, I also found like a sports cup I'll show right here. And then this rocker mama, it's like a, I don't know, some sort of rocking thing you put in a chair, but comps look like $60 on eBay. So I picked that one up. And I apologize for the Frenchie snorting in the back. So cute, you Taylor Swift. Ready for it? The holy grail I found, and let me tell you, this was sitting on top of a picked over bin as soon as I got there. This is the first thing I grabbed, and I made sure to grab so much, some other stuff to put over it just in case anyone else recognized it and might steal it out of my cart. Never had anyone steal anything out of my cart before, but I feared that someone might if they actually did recognize this. Because I can't be the only one that knows what this is. The Taylor Swift 1989 Cardian found at the bins with all the calculations of all I spent this was a dollar and 44 cents what this is why I love the Goodwill outlet it doesn't get better than this and it's in excellent condition I'm gonna show you the back like are you kidding me right now this is real life best bins fine definitely just chef's kiss that I meant to do and not the <laughs> here you go I hope you guys enjoy the haul um I hope I built up the suspension for the best for last item if you stuck around this far please give it a thumbs up let me know what your favorite item was and yeah have a wonderful day guys bye